Hey there everybody, it's RCK and I'm glad to have you back here again for our next episode of our Sonesh sh series. Of course, we are on turn 28, we'll be doing turn 28, 29, and 30. We'll be doing a lot of Dark Knowledge and Bowls of Blood, just to see if we can really up any of our uh, income on anything. Uh, probably Bowl of Blood probably isn't as useful I've found in my newer games and like that we just we don't find shit but um unless you see really really high unrest in the province um those are times that you may want to be using bowl of blood if you do not have a um, high blood searcher uh, here we are taking out we did grab 57 more slaves not too bad had a few events happen uh, looks like we got a total of 18 gems altogether. We killed 124 uh, brigands, so the unrest in that province is fairly low now. Uh, back down to zero. Uh, moving, uh, sneaking out the blood slaves we currently have uh, that we just took. Uh, patrolling here in 79. Anything getting some site searching done. Uh, more searching. <clears throat> uh, overall, our income is looking pretty good so far. Uh, so, where we left off previously, of course, we know the vampire counts are uh, at war with uh, Nuln. Uh, we still need to claim 46. Nuln has not taken 41 or 51 yet, so we should be looking at taking those soon as well. Uh, the dwarves are looking fairly good, so are the Chaos Dwarves. They both uh, ally each other, or they're both, uh, it seems to be not having a nap together. We do see the dwarves here uh, sieging down the uh, Tomb King's capital here, so that is quite interesting. We need to get a scout over there. We see the orcs have spread pretty far. All the way down from 27 to 101 as a pretty good distance. Not sure what they control in this area here. I can only assume they've taken some of it just uh, by the fact of how close they are to the Tomb King's capital. Uh, just leads me to believe that they are fighting with them as well. A joint effort there with Tomb Kings and or Dwarves and Orcs working together to take Tomb Kings out. So very, very interesting indeed. Uh, research is coming along 371 research points a month. Eh, not great, but not too bad either. Uh, we'll definitely work on making that a little bit better. We did get a water random on our sources, which is kind of nice. We also need to get a uh, lab built over here and get started on uh, seeing if we can get some more sources. Because getting that, uh, that death air random would be pretty nice. What other randoms do they have on them? Uh, Astral 3 won't be bad. Air 3 wouldn't be bad. Uh, they can a lot of units here in 66. I uh, will be using those more than likely to try to take some stuff from the vampire, but counts if we're able to. Um, other than that, we don't have a whole lot going on. We decided to make a few of these Chaos Warriors with shields instead of the halberds just to try them out at a little bit of variety uh, i'm sure i'm pretty sure that known has a decent crossbow so it'd be better to have shields versus not having them let's see this one that had crossbows they do have crossbows they have these state crossbows here swordsmen great swords marksmen it's just a no it's the arbalist versus a crossbow uh, probably versus 14, range 50 versus 40. Eh. How often does Arbalist shoot? One every three rounds. How often does Crossbow shoot? One every two. Uh, probably just because they're cheaper and you're able to mass them more. Probably the Crossbow's better just to mass. But Steam Tank looks cool. Very cool, very cool. So yeah, some interesting stuff there. Um, other than that, there is another Empire faction. They also have crossbows. Uh, 
don't think, I mean, they have a lot of archers, but I don't think they have crossbows necessarily. Pretty sure dwarves have crossbows as well. So yeah, we're put in a tough spot here. Definitely want to get ready. Um, we could also look at taking 109 since we do see the Tomb Kings losing their war. Uh, so that would be a very nice province for us to go and grab a nice farmland there with a fort already on it. So let's go ahead and check out turn 29. Let's see, 29, there we go. Play game. <clears throat> so we found three sites here. Very nice. Uh, one air, one astral. And the high priest also gives us gold and decreases unrest per turn, which is pretty nice for the, uh, the province we are blood hunting in. There's always a little bit of... Uh, Extra unrest decrease will help us for sure. Found two more sites. A Starlit Pond. Now that is a Astral one. Yep. And then we have a Brigand Lair. I think that just increases unrest and lets us recruit villains. Yep. So that's unfortunate. We just build that fort there. Uh, we'll have to maybe put someone on there patrolling. Or maybe we should just blood hunt it down. Since it's always going to have a lot of unrest. And that unrest is really going to hurt the income regardless. So. Uh, there's my ideas about that. Still recruiting units. Actually we stopped recruiting here in 66. But we are still recruiting. Oh, not recruiting the cap either. What in the world are we doing then? Uh, so we are building a lab. Building the fortress up in 47. We must be building some other stuff somewhere. Investigating events. Huh. Interesting. Not really sure what we did instead of making all those troops. We probably still should have been making marauders here. Uh, just because we can make a fair few. Have just them sitting there patrolling at the moment. Uh, so it does look like the vampires, their capital is unseized at the moment, which is good for them, I suppose. But there's a fort here. Either it was taken by Nol or built by Nol. Not entirely sure. Um, we are getting a scout over there to try to see. We should be building scouts uh, in any of these provinces here just to get them over faster. That was an oversight on my part. But not a whole lot going on here. I mean, we are, we're just moving with our commander back over to pick up the units in the capital. To probably move to 66 and go from there. And that's about it for this turn. Starting to get a nice stockpile of slaves built up. Of course, we want tons and tons more. We have a lot to do with them. So we'll go ahead and head over to turn 30. Should check the mercenaries. We'll check them on turn 30. Let's see, there we go. Alright, so found three more sites. Enchanted Field and Wolf Oak. Now I'm pretty sure the Wolf Oak is a one nature. It is. Enchanted Field is another nature. Pretty sweet. Up to eight nature per turn. We found Deep Crevasse. Now that is a earth site. Earth one site. Cool. This province here is a very profitable province for us, uh, gym-wise. Of course, we're using it for blood slaves at the moment, too. Uh, how many blood slaves? So we ended up getting 71 blood slaves from the 13 hunters. That was very, very nice. We also uh, had our god join us this turn. That is also very, very nice. Uh, so there's an assassination attempt, a battle thing, but our chieftain was able to overcome them. Uh, we lost 14 pearls. That was very unfortunate. Lost 13 blood slaves. Uh, oh well. Uh, our income is looking pretty decent, but it is unfortunate that we were we lost uh, had some bad events there and lost a few things. So not we didn't really focus much on the god anyway. So we did just put water, astral, and blood for the god. Uh, all t 
talk about my ideas about that in a little bit. So we did end up picking for the Bless Magic Weapons and Blood Surge. Um, just because our Chosen didn't have Magic Weapons. And if there was a situation where we needed them, absolutely needed them, of course we would have it in some way. On top of that, uh, Blood Surge is just a decent one since they do hit pretty hard. Our Sacreds do. Um, as far as the paths, whenever we look through here, um, a lot of the later game blood things have to do with uh, Astro or High Blood. So, of course, we took Blood 4. We can get enough uh, boosters to get higher into it for whatever we need. Uh, we are set up to do Contact Keeper of Secrets, Astral Corruption. Uh, we could do Send Horror, which is a pretty good spell. Uh, other than that, we should probably have thrown one or two or just one path of fire on there just to bind Archdevil, but we did decide to go more scales uh, versus paths. Um, Father Ill Earth would be a good one, but we do have uh, ways of getting to Father Ill Earth along with bind Archdevil, so we're not too worried about that. Uh, we can also do Demon Prince and stuff. Um, so it's not, not too bad. I do remember... Um, I think we really do a lot of focusing. I can't remember. I knew we did We did put one thing of water on there just to get Ice Devil. Um, to find Ice Devil because we don't have very high water paths. Uh, I think water or fire, we, we definitely had ways of getting to fire. I think we have ways of getting to uh, death as well as, as far as high death goes. Being, where are you at? The... Heliophagus here at the Blood 5 for 111 uh, Blood Slaves. They do have uh, a death, um, death Blood Paths, and they'll just be able to give us Vampires after that. So that would really work out for what we needed them for. Um, so yeah, that's what we have right now. That's really it. Not a whole lot. Really didn't focus on the God for this game. Um, instead, we did want these really, really nice scales. And of course, we're making uh, 3,200. It's time 30. Uh, we haven't really gone to war with anyone, so we, we don't have an extra cat. We don't have a lot of extra land. I mean, I feel like we are doing pretty pretty well. Um, <clears throat> the high income is going to allow us to sit and build up our mage forces without having to worry about uh, upkeep and uh, the amount of gold we're spending per turn. I mean, we do have a lot of forts now producing things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not sure if I counted that one. So ten, eleven forts. I mean, that's we're doing pretty good um, overall. Of course, we do uh, want to continue that and continue building and look to expanding here shortly. Uh, being regardless of which direction it is, I feel like we could uh, take on the. Uh, Chaos Doors, even though they haven't fought anyone yet, so they are uh, pretty strong just because they haven't taken any losses. I'm sure Known has taken some losses, uh, so we'll definitely have to see about them as a future enemy. Definitely want to take some of this land. We see a throne here uh, that we want, a throne here that we want, one here. We do see Middenheim taking some Orc provinces, so we do see that they're at war with them. <coughs> a throne here. So really, I think by taking, uh, focusing on this area here, we'll probably have enough thrones to threaten uh, winning the game anyway. Uh, so we'll have to definitely see and check that out. But not a whole lot to see here. Uh, we are moving all of our troops to attack 68 and take this farmland from the vampires. Uh, moving the troops from the capital to 66 and then move them over to 68. Uh, so yeah, we finally got the okay to grab this province from him. He has decided that it is pretty much over. Just has some long dead, pretty much soulless left. So yeah, I think the vampires are out. We talked to him and he said we could take it. So that was very nice. Not sure how Nolan is going to feel about that, but we'll have to deal with that later. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!